Hey there young makers welcome to the episode number 6 of Arduino tutorials with wet blocks In today's episode we are going to learn how to connect our input blocks with your Arduino W baba I want things to happen automatically when i keep my glass in the dispenser it should detect the glass and fill it with cold drink but that you can do with wet blocks i know but it is still not automatic when i keep my glass in the dispenser it keeps on going it does not stop also if i am not around i don't know how much the glass has been filled so using wet blocks life has become easier but now i have new problems okay So now you want the dispenser to shut off automatically after few seconds? Correct. And you also need some kind of indication after the filling process so that even if you are not looking at it you come to know that the glass is filled. Oh, that would be great. I think this can be done using an Arduino. Let's make a list of things that we need. We would need wet blocks Arduino construction set, distance block pump with a motor driver lamp and finally buzz apart from these you would also need to build your own automatic cold drink dispenser setup it would something look like this now let's check out our circuit diagram we have connected wet blocks power to the breadboard as per all our last videos now we connect vcc and ground of breadboard to plus 5 volts and ground of lamp and bus data of lamp is connected to pin 5 of arduino data of bus is connected to pin 6 of arduino now let's have a look to our input blocks that is the distance blocks in the left end we have not connected plus 5 volts not connected ground and not connected so only two pins over here but in the right we have analog out plus 5 volts digital out ground and not connected this way we will connect vcc and ground of breadboard to plus 5 and ground of distance block and connect pin 7 of arduino to the digital out of distance block Have a look at the circuit diagram very carefully. There will be a lot of wires. This becomes your initial settings. Now connect your Arduino and let's start coding. This time we are not going to do the coding step by step. This time I have already written the code and implemented the logic. So let me show you the logic. So over here the name of the program drink dispenser. Okay. So we have saved the entire program as usual. Initially what we do we define what is connected to our Arduino so we have connected pump to our pin number 5 mind you pump is also connected to lamp next buzz is connected to pin number 6 distance as a sensor is connected to pin number 7 now what is the cycle cycle is a variable okay and we are going to use this variable in a very beautiful way so the its initial value is 0 So remember this value we are going to use this value in the later stage. Next, let's move on to the void setup. So in void setup we actually define to Arduino what is pump. So pump is an output obviously. Then what is buzz? Buzz is an output obviously. Then distance is an input. It is an input blocks. So we have defined the three things that are connected to our Arduino. The pump, the buzz and the distance. Again, lamp is connected to pump. okay directly so we are not defining it in an independent way next initially when the arduino turns on we do not want that the pump or the buzz or anything to turn on very randomly so we are saying to arduino whenever you are turning on just keep the pump and the buzz as low low means off next let's move on to the basic logic what happens when our glass is kept in front of the sensor so initially what we are doing we are saying if the sensor is detecting the glass how do we know that the sensor is detecting the glass let's move on to the void loop area 
In the void loop section, we are saying what will happen when the sensor detects the glass. So how do we notify this to Arduino? Arduino, we say, if the distance sensor's value is read as high. So how do we define this? If digital read distance sensor, is it high? When I say, is it high? It means, am I asking its value to be, e whether it is equal to or not? And that is why we have written double equal to over here. So what does double equal to mean? It does not mean equal to equal to. It does not mean like that. It means that we are actually asking Arduino, check whether it is high or low. And if it is high, then you have to perform some steps. Okay. So if the glass is detected, let's say the glass is not detected, then what it will do? It will ignore all these steps. It will ignore all these steps. Okay. And what it will do, it will go to the L section and it will say, turn off the pump, turn off the bus. That's it. As long as the glass is not kept inside the dispenser, the pump and the bus are kept off. Okay. That is the meaning of this if and else. Let's move on to the if. If the sensor actually detects a glass, then we need to be sure about it. So what we will do, after keeping the glass, we are waiting for some time to be very much sure that yes, this has to be glass only or anyone could come and just wave off their hand in front of the dispenser and they will say, oh, the dispenser is not working properly. Okay. So what we will do, we will wait for some time after keeping the glass also. Then we will again check. See, again, we are checking if the glass is actually detected. If yes, we will make this cycle value as one. Now, remember cycle value was zero initially. Now we have made this cycle as one. So when cycle becomes one over here in this step, when cycle becomes one, we are actually saying while the value of cycle remains one, be careful at this step. While the cycle value remains one over here, you have to perform all these steps. Okay. Till here. Okay. How do I know till here? Because of this bracket. So this bracket actually shows when I click around this black bracket, there is this symbol which shows that this is the opening braces of this bracket. Okay. So we will perform all these steps while the cycle value is one. What are these steps? Let us know. So first is we will turn on the pump and we will wait for some time because we want to fill the glass, obviously. Then we'll turn off the pump. Okay. So on and off after switching off the pump, we want the user to know that the glass is actually filled. So we are saying again, we will sense the distance value because be before the distance was actually checking the presence of the glass. Now the distance is again checking the presence of the glass after the glass is filled. And if the glass is filled, then it will continuously ring the buzzer as long as the glass is kept over here. So over here, the buzzer will turn on for one second and off for 500 milliseconds. And this will continuously go on as long as the distance is high. If you remove the glass from the dispenser, this high will become low and this while will become false and it will never go inside this particular section. If it does not go inside the section, this cycle in the next step becomes zero. So see, initially we entered this while section when cycle was one, but while exiting this while section, we are making the cycle as zero. And this is where cycle is being used as a bait to make the Arduino come out of some loops. So this while it will exit, then it will come out this and then it will come out from this loop over here. And finally, it will come out from this loop because the glass has been removed. Okay. Let's see this program once again over here. We check the glass, whether it is present or not. We will wait for some time. Okay. In the next step, after confirming that this is glass only, we will turn on the motor. Okay. But making the motor on and off for some time will not assure that the glass is actually being removed or not. So what we will do, we will just bring the alarm as long as the glass is kept over there and then we'll come out of the loop subsequently. And this will continuously go on because this entire section is placed in the void loop section. So let us upload this program and see how this is functioning.
So I hope you all enjoyed watching this project. Now it's time for you to try out this project and share with us whatever improvement that you have done on the Wetblocks app. Wetblocks app is the world's first robotics learning app specially designed for young makers like you. Through this app, you join the massive makers community. Explore awesome DIY projects. Participate in maker challenges. Compete with other makers. And share your innovations with the world. The best part of this app is it's completely free. You can download the app from Google Play Store and very soon we are going to release our iOS app. See you in the next video. Till then, happy inventing.